update. I can click it. Okay, yeah, you know, we're good. Oh, that's not it. Get out of here. I can hurry and steal. I apologize for the fact I'm rushing this show. But it'll be a proper update. So. Cover immediately. Am I on here just to hurry? Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Walking around the outside. Let's begin. That's perfect. He's dead. I will be dead if I cannot heal immediately. Oh, there you are. Sweet little. Hello everybody, Zoni putting here with some more Fallout New Vegas. Oh boy, I have a proper intro now. Instead of a okay. Not really doing it. Instead of a rush thing. Give me a sec, I have stuff. Okay, this book. Okay, got all these crates and stuff. Poor individual. Let's go check it out. Let's find some stuff. And now it looks like we have some crates. We have pistols. I'll figure it out later. Uh, so let me click that. The last crate you came here to look at. I thought you still were here. Hmm. Who are you? Well, I'm Deputy Dean. I'm Dean Carlisle. Can I help you? I've been most grateful for you to tell me a little. We'll search for you now. All right, thanks. I think I'll be making my way out back. Be all right, Dean. Thanks. I'm not really sure what way to look. I feel like I need a car. Today is saying, yeah, you deal with the bandits. I'm gonna go and chill outside. Oh, the forest is just happy to see me. Please sit down. So it sounds like you're an intelligent and fine individual. I don't know. Well, you're gonna have to get out of here. Get back in your car, please. Could it be? I don't know. What could it possibly be? A rat. A rat. Where are you even heading? Car. Not sure where I'm heading. Oh, there you are. Ow! Hit me. Okay. 
Playing a bit of dying life, just casual, but I gotta say, that is a great game. It is the right amount of hardcore story and zombie killing. Thing I'm on zombie killing, hardcore, story, I'm all wrapped in, all wrapped up into an amazing experience. But I will admit, some parts made me rage big time, especially the end of the game. I won't go into too details, but we'll just say the end mission has its ups and downs. But overall, it is a fantastic game. I would recommend getting it if you have the money, or wait to get it on possibly a Steam sale or some other kind of sale. completed the game about mm, three or four hours ago. Now I'm just doing some of the side missions that I didn't know about. Getting around to it. And uh, it's really fun. It's still very fun. Makes me a bit of a noob in that sort of story. I say antagonist in this particular game. I mean, some of these besides like three of the in the game. <laughs> so, when I was finally taking care of him, I'm like, that's right, Dumpy, you have to go there. And so, although I still get a little more profane threats to flee and everything like that. Oh, boom! say though, the night time is terrifying. At all times, pretty much. Because even if you're like pretty end game and have lots of cool stuff, it's still terrifying in the game. You can barely see. Plus you have all, all sorts of terrifying enemies that come at you. But that's what makes it unique, I think. Is you can go outside your car level up and free rewards, but it's pretty terrifying and you will more than likely <laughs> terrifying. You will more than likely die if you're not careful. So it's a risk versus reward kind of thing. I would suggest for the night of night after you're about 15 or so. 
mean, I'm about to get some stuff to get done, but if you go out before that, I'm cool with that. If you're doing that, just you're doing it focus on scavenging. I'd say about 50%. That doesn't matter now. Tools and yeah, because you're requesting skills that leveled up enough to be effectively 50% safe. the little diner I talked. Oh, we're playing Fallout 3, so we'll get back to that. Curious to know how this works. Well, I don't have no records of any of this, Ken. I lost the pet though, so should we really? Oh, should we really go to town? You have to live here all your life again. What's he talking about this job? Oh, I thought you might mean the game job. That's all right, Ken. Get in no hurry. We'll be sitting pretty down here. Well, so strange about it. Who was the one? No idea. Sounds like you two have a history of going back way back. You came down to Main Creek. Bet you didn't see any shadow marks on the ground, huh? Maybe you thought your name was still there. Or am I the new sheriff? Some men from my past band have said that Boot tried to attack this way. Well, now that you mention it, if you know about it, I'll run to town while you guys scavenge what you can. You say that the guys that stayed in the creek came through with one of them big time misfits. They was called the Shifty. Must have been shot from the movie. I never expected to get to that point. Well, for that, the best bet is going to be talking to Shifty first. Once you get into town, he'll be getting a good bit of mail for you. And you can sneak it around by some trees when you're pretty well in on him. You may have heard the old saying. All right. Don't go digging. I'll try not to. Well, I just got no interest. You tried to stop me from being recruited, and breaking myself out of the box was just not even in the story mode. You wouldn't accept it. The problem is, I was sitting there knowing that if I didn't do the next time Jack and I run into him, he was out. You talking about the man that said the creep who came through here? Hello again. I suppose you could 
guys are like really trying to connect here. Uh, let's see, what does Salt Creek look like here? It should be someone great like you, more famous. Someone who's got the bank in lock up. You heard the cops say I'm talking about someone in prison and money. Well, I see you got a script for that. You may be <laughs> interested in that. Also, we have a few other things to talk about. You may be able to get in the paper for the cop out. Here we go. I'll have you know, order. That's just my idea. I'm just trying to have justice for the innocent. The sheriff may be concerned here with our CCO and law enforcement. We also may be able to convince that CCO guy that the fellow who put the can under the seat is our next in line for the job. We don't want bias to be in our way. Let's just leave it that way. Alright, everybody. If you did fall out in your biggest, I will see you all next time. And remember, stay creative.